another wet, damp, dark morning. And today we are going to have a look at a new build, or no, it's a refurb. Um, they need a TV aerial fitted because there's nothing there at the, at the minute. It's a friend of mine, he's a property developer, and they've sold the house, and the people are moving in soon, and there's no TV aerial system on there, so I've got to go and see what they need and get it all up this morning. So we'll have a look and see what's needed, and I'll uh, try and get some footage of what, what I do. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're here. Um, sit rep is yeah, it's a renovation. Needs an aerial and a distribution system. So I've got here, um, and it started raining straight away, which is handy. Um, always makes things helpful. But we've got the aerial up. It's a bit of a short, a sort of short height aerial. You know, can it's because the cables that they'd run outside the gable end had already been cut to length. Um, so I didn't really want to have to put a join on the outside unless it needed like a masthead preamplifier or something. But so yeah, I've had to have the pole, the pole quite short, but we're getting a good enough signal. Um, but there's excess cable co coiled up at the bottom of the bracket and that's for when Sky come along. So they've got something to connect their dish to. So yeah, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it's that cable's looped up for a purpose. So I'll just give you a quick show of what it looks like. See that up there? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get inside and uh, get the amplifier and all that sort of stuff set up. Okay, so we're back inside. Um, thank God, because it's absolutely lashing down out there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna. This is the situation. We've got all these cables coming down inside the, the downstairs utility. All these cables go off to various rooms in the house and we'll get them all connected up on a, into an amplifier which will be mounted up here just to keep it out of the way because they're going to put a big box in some sort they're going to build some, some the chippy's going to put some sort of cupboard there just to hide it all but yeah this is where they all meet up so we got all this tidied up and get a get an amp on it and uh, we should be good to go Okay, one of the problems we got here yeah, makes it takes makes everything take so much longer is you've got all these cables, yeah, they're called shotgun cables, so there's they're like a shotgun. It's two of them. They're like a shotgun barrel, yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, plus a single, so the single's fine. But we don't know which cables go to which room. Now we need to leave one of these cables. One of these cables comes from the aerial, which I've located is this one, but it doesn't need to be a shotgun cable. That's why we've got this end left here. It looks tacky, it looks naff, but you don't wanna just chop it all out because you never know what you might want in the future. So like I said, all this will be boxed in and you won't see any of it. So yeah, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it's, yeah, it, 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 you won't see it when it's all finished. So I've located, so but what I've got to do, one of the rooms is potentially going to have Sky or Sky Q. So that's where you do need a shotgun cable. So one of the ends of these cables goes out to that loop of cable outside on the bracket I showed you. So I just have to figure out which of these cables 
is that one going out to the bracket. And I've managed to, and they want, so, so they, they want the Sky Q to potentially be in this room here. Yes, there's a single socket on it, but that's what the builder or the Sparky put on. Doesn't matter, because I can just change that, put a double uh, satellite connection on there, that's fine. But I know that, that the end of that cable, is this one here. So I've taped it up just to keep it out of the way so I know so that Sky can, so we can connect to that cable. But we need to know, we need to know, no oh, sorry, the, you're probably wondering how do I figure out which cable it is. But what I'm doing is sending 12 volts of power through each TV point with a power supply unit. This sends power up through that cable into the aerial socket. Down there. And so down one of these cables, there should be 12 volts of power coming down, and there is. So basically by process of elimination, I figure out which cable feeds which room, and then I can connect up the, the corresponding one for the dish. So yeah, it's a bit of fun and games, but one of those things that makes the job a bit longer, but you know, it's one of them things. And it's magic. Just like that, we're out of the utility room and back in the van. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, didn't get any uh, more photos of that last job, but we're on a different day now. We've got three aerials to fit, count them, three aerials. Um, but it is minus one outside and frosty as you might be able to see. So that's gonna be a joy. But yeah, see how we get on. Might get a few videos if I can. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you know. One job down, on to job number two. That's, uh, and it's still the morning, so that's good progress. Um, second job, another aerial, uh, new cable, because it's been up there 40 years, it's all perished. But good news is the sun's out. So yeah, we'll crack on and hopefully get it to the third soon. Hello again. Right, okay, that's the second job done. New aerial and cable as requested. Um, bit of a funny one, that one, though. It's just a bit annoying when you give the customer the price. I went and quoted this up last week, but I've just been too busy to get there. You quote up and you tell them the price, and that's, you know, including VAT, so it's, you know, X amount plus VAT. And that's the total price. Yeah, yeah, and you can pay by card. Oh, yeah, lovely, yeah, okay. You come and do the job, knock it all out, and then you go in for payment. And they said, oh, I've got your cash out. Um, save paying the VAT. What's that? What do you mean? Is it, well, you can't just pick and choose when to pay the VAT. You know what I mean? It's like, giving you the price. That's what it is. Oh, I've got cash out now. I said, oh, well, you could pay cash, but you're still paying the total, including the VAT. That's what I said, you know. Oh, 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 I just thought, you know, I thought we'd be doing you a favour. Doing me, well, no, it's not. It's doing them a favour to save a few quid, not paying the VAT, and it's me potentially avoiding tax, and that's tax evasion. So it's my neck on the line for you saving a couple of quid. Don't pretend you're doing me a favour. I hate it when customers do that. So, yeah, if you get a price, it's including VAT, and you pay whatever, but you're not doing me a favour by choosing to not pay VAT. Right, anyway, moan over. I'm um, on to the third job. Um, I looked at it last week and I think there's water damage in the cable and everything, so it's replacing everything as I've done before. But I'll have a look when I get there. Cheers. Okay, so here we are at the third job. Um, yeah, it's as I thought, the aerial's been up there a few years and it's water damage. I've gone through this before, water gets in at the aerial passes down the cable and if it gets to an amplifier or a splitter it, after a while it starts to just knacker the signal so we've got the amplifier here that terminal there see see it's all brown and rusted and that terminal up here that's what it should look like that terminal there is all brown and rusted that's the that's the terminal that connects the cable to the area outside so water's passed down it and yeah Electrical appliances or electrical amplifiers don't like water, funny enough. So yeah, got to replace that. Um, I haven't even looked at the aerial yet, but that's what's happening, it's passing down. So 
we'll get up there, get the aerial down and have a look and um, look at replacing it. Okay, so I've got the aerial down. There we have it. Look. Soaking wet. So, yeah, water damage. It's one of these style aerials again. Come across a lot of these over the years. Obviously, a design fault where the box just gets condensation in it and it builds up and builds up and yeah, eventually corrodes the, uh, the core of the cable. Okay, so the new amp is in. Not the prettiest, but no one really, no one really worries about that because it's inside the loft and it's out of sight, isn't it? Um, yeah, just needed the distribution amplifier because the signals were okay. Um, yeah, they weren't bad. I just needed amplifying because it's feeding so many points around the house. But uh, just wanted to show you the meter that I use. Oh. Yeah, we have got the, spe the spectrum analyzer. This is the Televis uh, H30 Flex. You've got to have something like this. There are, def there are loads of different spectrum analyzers on the market for people in this trade, you know, um, made by different people, Pro Max, Ranger. Um, I think Ranger is a model of Pro Max. Anyway, um, yeah, loads of different manufacturers of them, but you can't be doing this job without a proper spectrum analyzer. You know, there are people out there that are just doing it off a little meter that just tells you strong or weak signal. This tells you everything, carrier, no carrier noise. Um, yeah, the, str the strength and qualities, what frequency you're actually operating on. It could work satellite. It can do all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, so unless you've got something like this, you know, you. You can't really trust your results or get anything accurate. If you're working in an area where it's really, really easy signal to pick up from, you could probably get away with it, but you are literally just getting away with it. You're not analyzing exactly what's going on. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Handy bit of kit, not cheap, you know, over 1200 quid that was. Okay, right then. So that's all in. Um, get my kit out of here and get back downstairs and uh, finish up okay right that's that job finished um third aerial of the day um managed to get a bit more footage of what i was doing up in the loft there as well so that's all good customer very happy um yeah, it's about three o'clock so it's gonna get dark in about an hour or so hour and a half maybe um just time to look at another job so if i get my ass in gear should be able to get there and have a look at that one as well Okay, hello again. Um, yeah, just had a look at that last job. Couldn't actually do it. It's not enough time, but I've given her a price to upgrade her system. Um, and she'll get back to me. So, anyway. Um, just got to wear that bloke. Oops. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's just been a bit of a hectic day today. Um, but, yeah. Try and get a few more videos of some other bits I'm doing next week. I've got some CCTV coming up soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to share the Facebook page and like the Facebook page and like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Uh, click the thumbs up and uh, subscribe for updates when I do other videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!